हेलो गाइस आई कोमल खोरगड़े फ्रॉम एन आई पॉलिटेक्निक नागपुर वेलकम टू डिजिटल कम्युनिकेशन मॉड्यूल आफ्टर कंप्लीशन ऑफ दिस मॉड्यूल स्टूडेंट विल बी एबल टू गेट दी नॉलेज अबाउट डिजिटल कम्युनिकेशन एंड अंडरस्टैंड दी बेसिक एलिमेंट ऑफ कम्युनिकेशन सिस्टम नाउ डिस्कस अबाउट दी कंटेंट द कंटेंट्स आर कम्युनिकेशन टाइप ऑफ कम्युनिकेशन डिजिटल कम्युनिकेशन ब्लॉक डायग्राम ऑफ डिजिटल कम्युनिकेशन वर्किंग एग्जाम्पल एडवांटेजेस अप्लिकेशन नाउ वी डिस्कस अबाउट द कम्युनिकेशन वॉट इज कम्युनिकेशन कम्युनिकेशन इज अ सिंपली द एक्ट ऑफ ट्रांसफरिंग इन्फॉर्मेशन फ्रॉम वन प्लेस वन पर्सन और ग्रुप टू अनादर एवरी कम्युनिकेशन इन्वॉल्व वन ट्रांसमीटर रिसीवर एंड इन्फॉर्मेशन which include our emotions and cultural situation now we discuss about the types of communication system there are two types of communication system which are analog communication and digital communication analog communication is in the form of analog signal and digital communication is in the form of discrete communication the analog communication is process of conveying of information including image voice and video by using the continuous signal next digital communication what is digital communication the digital communication is any message passed through digital device like mobile phone it is any type of information sent digitally like text message it is a mode of communication where the information is encoded digitally as discrete signal it is any exchange of data that transmit the data in a digital form now one question for you what do you think which parameter or component used in digital communication now pause the video and write your answer in your notebook If we have finished writing then play the video and see the answer let me answer you the component which is used in digital communications are source source encoder channel encoder chain di sorry digital modulator channel digital demodulator channel decoder source decoder and last one is destination which is divided into two part first is transmitter side and second is receiver side the transmitter side consist of source source encoder channel encoder digital modulator and receiver side consist of digital demodulator channel decoder source decoder and destination now we discuss about the source the source of information it be the source of information it can be analog in nature or digital in nature for example analog information are microphone activated by a switch it is a continuous analog signal so we need convert that signal in the discrete form in a real world whatever information it is a continue in nature but when we are dealing with this we need to convert that information in the form of digital signal that's why we use a source encoder which convert that analog signal into digital signal and the process of converting analog signal to digital signal is called as sampling after that then output of the source encoder is in the form of zeros and one in this process number of error occur in the system that error reduced by channel encoding after that we need a high frequency signal to pass so we use a modulator to increase the strength of that signal after modulation the output of digital modulator is zeros and ones the signal in the form of zeros and one 
Now this signal is a pass through any channel. It may be optical cable or any types of cable. This is transmitter side. Now we discuss about the receiver side. After getting a original signal, we need to reverse process in reverse side. That's why we demodulated that signal. Now output of demodulated signal is passed through channel decoder and channel decoder is work to work for error finishing and after error finishing the information is passed through source decoder and source decoder is obtained proper information in the form of digital in the form of digital or discrete signal that is zeros and one after that we receive the original information that is your destination now this is a working of digital communication which i explain you now we discuss about discuss about the example of digital communication first example is mobile phone second television third one is radio and text message email and fax also the example of digital communication now see the advantages of digital communication in expensive digital circuits it is using privacy preserve can merge different data it is used for error correction by coding like zero and one now we discuss about the application of digital communication digital communication is a use in military for the security purpose missile guidance image processing robotics vision and digital signal processing thank you